This is Brellian, an ultra reality monitor which displays a panorama projection resembling a cinema screen, but with added depth. It promises a more immersive gaming experience, larger screen space for productivity, and claims to provide the ability to enter the metaverse without a headset. I got to try it out, and I'm going to tell you everything right now. Brellian projects an ultra-wide screen that surrounds you. The screen you see appears 5 feet in the distance and measures 122 inches. It gives you a 101 degree field of view and provides a sense of depth. The monitor accesses light at micro radian levels at a sufficient angular range, so it can replicate virtual experiences without the need to wear a headset. Brellian sees their monitor solving a couple key problems. The first one is desktop space. They say that this monitor can replace other desktop setups that have multiple screens. You'll have enough room to put all your browsers and windows up and not need to have all these displays take up as much space. Next, because of its wide field of view, they see their monitor as being an alternative to enter the metaverse without having to wear a VR headset. They also see a large opportunity for gaming. The monitors are already being used for simulation training like flight simulators, as well as businesses for arcade gaming, esports, and simulation racing. The monitor I tried out is a prototype. Their first release of models will be geared toward enterprise users and those will come later this year. They do plan on selling these to consumers as well and those are planned for a couple years down the line. When I first saw this monitor in person, I was like, this is big and bulky. I don't know if I'd ever want a monitor of this size on my desk, but you know what? Maybe it would blow my mind and I'd be like, okay, well maybe this is something I'd want on my desk. There is this protective screen right in front, and I noticed when I looked a little higher up that there is a screen above that is reflecting, creating this image. The monitor has a 4K LG LCD screen, the dimensions are 24 by 9, and the refresh rate is 60 hertz. Brellian has a partnership with LG to bring OLED screens to future models, and they also plan to introduce a second refresh rate of 144 hertz, which is aimed toward gaming. I had originally asked if I could bring my own laptop or Nintendo Switch to play some Mario Kart or do some editing on my computer on this monitor, and while they weren't able to accommodate that, they did have a couple demos for me. The first demo I tried was a video with a bunch of movie clips, some video game recordings, and scenic video. Now what I saw wasn't exactly what I was expecting from the marketing videos that I watched prior to being there. The best way I can put it is, imagine if you're in a movie theater and you get the perfect seat right in the center in this dark theater, that's what I'm seeing. It wasn't an IMAX theater, it was a traditional movie screen, but it was very intimate. It did look very large, but it wasn't as expansive as I expected. What did surprise me was the amount of depth that I was able to see. Trees in the foreground popped out, and this isn't something I've experienced watching a simple monitor. This is something I've noticed when putting on a VR headset. There is a sweet spot for how close you want to be to this monitor. If you go too far back, the corners on both the bottoms crop out, and in order for that not to happen, you do want to sit a little closer to the monitor, so I scooted up my chair. For the second demo, I played Forza Horizon 4. This is where I felt the true power of this display. The screen was encapsulating me. I've never played a game on a screen that felt as immersive as putting on a VR headset. I had to move my entire head to look at the bottom corner of the screen to see the speed of my car. I could easily see this screen being used in arcades, in like a rig with a steering wheel. In fact, I like wish I was using a steering wheel instead of the keys on the keyboard. It felt like I was really in that moment and I wanted to feel like I was in it even more. When I went to go see this screen, I imagined that I would be like, oh my goodness, this is incredible, this is the future. And while that wasn't the experience I had, I do see promise in technology like this. I did feel very immersed in this content that I was seeing, and I could see myself, instead of putting on a VR headset, using one of these to feel like I am more inside those experiences in the metaverse one day. 
On the other hand, I don't really see this as being a better alternative for multi-monitor displays because essentially what you're seeing when looking through this is a large ultra-wide curved screen that is a projection but it's not giving you more screen space than say an ultra wide monitor that you put on a desk. Yes, it's more immersive, but you don't really need immersion when you're looking at a Google doc. And that takes me to another limitation, which is you really can only look into this as one person. You theoretically could get two people in there if you're really close to each other, but that wouldn't be very comfortable. Braylon expects to begin shipping units in quarter four of this year and those will cost somewhere between $5,000 and $7,500. But like I said, these initial models are meant for enterprise users. They wanna get these prices down for the consumer at about say $1,500 to $3,500. And they expect that to happen in quarter four of 2024. Now, what do you think? Would a monitor of this size that promises enhanced immersion work for you at this price point? And what would you wanna try on this thing? Let me know down in the comments. And for more stories on the metaverse, emerging tech, and cool stuff like this, keep it here on CNET by subscribing to the channel. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a like. I'm Justin, and I'll tech you later.